All right, you see, folks, that's what you call steam rising. And this is really gold for your Pratt Pack. I'm going to share it with some family, I'm sure. Eh, maybe not. It's chicken, what they're famous for. And Randy is here, Randy Freeze, and, of course, up Poogie, as in Mike Pugliano and his son Nick. This stuff, do you realize, I haven't been this happy since Thanksgiving. I mean, this is big. This is really big. And you know how small the world is and why I love coming here. And again, I do work for food. I saw this picture on the wall. Now explain to everybody who this is. I know one of them, but I didn't know the other two until you told me. Go ahead. Picture on the right, the gentleman on the right is my father, Ron Fries. He was the owner of the store. And then in the center is Mike Wilson, a lifelong childhood friend of my, my dad's. And then also on the, the far side is Bill Falloon, another long time friend of my dad's. And they, they grew up together, worked together, drank together. So, like three amigos. Listen, and I was right on about my hero, Mike Wilson, his beautiful daughter, Lynn. Smoked the pipe, worked at Ogilvy's, did so much good for this community, and taught me so much about sports, and he's still around, still alive and well. And, of course, uh, Diane Senaviva and Mimi Tambellini Croxville and that whole crew, and Sarah Duffy Crago. Get in close. You see this guy? Come on, Nick, get in close. There he is, Mike Wilson. Always smiling, one of the most articulate, and I swear, the guy never swore. One of the most decent human beings. And I'm still trying to think, what was he hanging out with us for, right? But a great guy, Mike Wilson. I, I mean, I love him, absolutely love him to death. All right, look, he's a Cleveland Browns fan, too. And, you know, I was so happy. 635 days since they won a game. Baker Mayfield, although it ain't over till it's over, but it looks as though he's going to be the guy moving forward. Jimmy Haslam, the Pittsburgh connection, his wife celebrating the game ball. I was so happy for the Cleveland Browns. And even though, you know, I cover those Steelers and I spend a lot of time in that part of the world, if you love the NFL, you have to love that story, Mike. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, Baker Mayfield comes in, you know, out of the draft. People were hesitant if they, if they would accept him or not, but uh, he proved, you know, he's worthy. And what a monkey to get off your back after 635 days. It was like winning a Super Bowl, and now it should be – smooth sailing for the Browns. You know, I just realized I'm going to have to start bringing a crowbar because if I keep eating this food, they're going to have to pry me out of these boots. <laughs> I mean, look at this chicken. Give him one more shot of the chicken. Come on now. Is that not a precious or what? You know, and I know all of my friends in Liverpool are like, I'm going to post this when I get home because they're all going to be saying, stop over, stop over. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the NFL. The LA Rams hosting the Vikings Thursday night football. Rams. Rams? Okay. Yeah, they're undefeated. Jared Goff, Todd Gurley, they're huge. What do you like? I like the Rams. I like to see the Vikings win. My cousin's a diehard fan, but I, I like the Rams. The Vikings got throttled by Buffalo. The future, Josh Allen, the guy, I'm telling you, taking him back to the promised land. Love the Buffalo Bills. Cincinnati at Atlanta. Uh, I like Atlanta. I'll go with the Falcons in this one. Randy. I'm going to go with Mike. I'm going to go with Atlanta also. By the way, he also works for ATI. That's right, Allegheny Technologies, of course, in Manaka, in Midland. He travels to Washington, PA. I love ATI. Those jobs mean so much. They're so important to all of us. And uh, all I can say is a big part of this community, ATI, as is Randy. And i got to tell you something. Nice crowd here tonight. People coming in, getting food. And I told you, this is the time of year. The days get shorter. You've worked all day, Mom and Dad. So come by and show them the chicken again. <laughs> Sorry. I can't help it, man. Don't anybody try to stop me going out here. I may be fat, but I just need one. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Up next, it's uh, Tampa Bay at Chicago. Does Winston get back in this week? I don't. That's the thing. I, you, you never know. Um, I'd say no. I'd say no. I like Tampa Bay. I think they'll come back. They'll rebound. Only because I got thrown because of the chicken. Did you guys pick the, the other game, Cincinnati and Atlanta? Yeah, we yeah, both picked Atlanta. Okay, good. All right. By the way, we walk the line every Sunday. Ted Arno, Greg Diolas, Kuzmark, at Black and Gold Sunday Show. We pick our weekly winners against the spread. And it takes me so much to get ready for that that I'm not really going to show my cards here tonight. You'll have to tune in Sunday. Detroit at Dallas. I still think Matthew Stafford's a great quarterback. Matt Patricia's a great addition. And if Detroit's having a winning year, that's a good thing. And I don't think people are giving Dallas enough credit. Ezekiel Elliott is a great young football player. And Dak Prescott is an up-and-coming quarterback who was a former fourth-round pick. I like him. I like who they are. It's going to be a good football game. Yeah, I do, too. I, I, I think Dallas wins this game. I think they start getting a little momentum going towards you know, the rest of the season. But they're... they're uh... 
Mike Wilson, anytime you want to talk about the Cleveland Browns, brother, I'll find you. I love you. Go Cleveland Browns. And let me tell you something. That would be great to have that rivalry actually mean something again. Yeah. yeah. It would be really nice to have that happen. Okay, who do you like? Detroit Dallas. Dallas. Okay, up next, it's Buffalo at Green Bay. And Josh Allen's the real deal. I'm taking the Packers. I think the Packers win this one. I'm going to go with Buffalo one now. All right. Philadelphia at Tennessee. Carson Wentz is back. Yeah. Eagles. Okay. <laughs> uh, Eagles also, yeah. All right. Um, Houston at Indianapolis. And boy, what a difference Andrew Luck has made. Yeah, I, I like the Colts in this one. Um, I, I, Andrew Luck, he just, he's, he's a true quarterback. I'm going to go with Houston on this one. All right, Miami at New England. Are the Dolphins for real? They're undefeated. Ryan I Tannehill. Got, I got a buddy who's a, a huge Dolphin fan, but, um, yeah, I'm taking Pats in this one. Although I have to tell you, you know how I feel about New England. Bill Belichick, the greatest coach in the history of the NFL, and they were 2-2 two and two in September last year, too. So don't panic just because they have lost some football. Yeah, I'll go with New England on that one. Also, Patriots, for sure. Jets or Jacksonville? Jags. Take the Jags. Could Le'Veon Bell end up with the Jets? Uh, who knows? Will, will he show up at, uh, at all? <laughs> he should. We need to keep him. All right, especially catching passes out of the backfield. Take some of that pressure off of Antonio Brown. All right, see, all I'm thinking about, folks, <laughs> is this chicken right now. How do I get out of here without somebody taking the chicken? All right, the 4 o'clock games. Cleveland at Oakland. Baker Mayfield gets the start. Um, I, I'm going to go with Cleveland. Mayfield's going to have to uh, scramble a little bit, but... As a rookie scrambling, he looks just as good as anybody in the NFL right now. I'm going to leave it. I wasn't a Baker Mayfield fan when they drafted him, but he made me a believer last week, last Thursday. Seattle at Arizona. Cardinals, I'll take By the way, Josh Rosen, what's his name, the kid from UCLA? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's actually going to start now. Sam Bradford has been benched. Yeah, I'll go Cardinals. Mike Wilson's like, boy, he still has it for an old man. I'm working, Mike. I'm working. I'm working. 425. Who do you like in that game? Seattle, Seattle. Okay. 425, Drew Brees at the New York Giants. Saquon Barkley and Eli Manning and Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, man, I'll, I'll throw the Giants a bone here. I think New York can take this one, but it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. And by the way, Lynn Wilson's wonderful husband actually works for the brand that they sell here, Pepsi. So just trying to keep it all in the family. You know what I'm saying, folks? I'm always thinking, always thinking. Who do you like? I'm going with the Giants. I like Barkley on this one. Garopp Jimmy Garoppolo is done for the year. Towards ACL, he's out. Taking on Philip Rivers in the LA Chargers. Who do you like? I like the Chargers. I, 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 I do. Yeah, I like Chargers. Monday Night Football. Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes. I think he probably just threw about four more touchdowns in the last hour. Is this guy like unreal or what? And Andy Reid on a national broadcast, I heard he said he reminds him a lot of a young Brett Favre who improvises like he's playing in the backyard. And he said that's what he likes about. Him. I, I have no clue in this game. I, I mean, pick somebody. I'll give you a piece of chicken. No, I can't sit. What? I can't sit. Here, show the chicken. <laughs> Come on. Come on. All right. I'll go with Casey also. Who do you like? I'll go with Casey. No. <laughs> All right, listen. I, okay, now, it's the uh, Steelers coming up Sunday night. Heinz Field, Joe Flacco, Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, I think Pittsburgh gets rolling now. I mean, they're settled in, and uh, it's tough to win at Pittsburgh. Tough to win. Yeah, I agree with, with Mike on that one as far as uh, at Pittsburgh. They, you know, they seem like they've got things in motion, so it looks like they have to go with the Steelers. Listen, Italian, steel industry, eat a loaf chicken. Man, that's a trifecta for your Pratt Pack. Thanks to Randy. Thanks to everyone here. And listen, ladies and gentlemen, they've been around for decades, and they're not going anywhere anytime soon. The only time you need to kind of kick back and Take the family something special for dinner. Make it eat a loaf. Good night.